He's no good to be dead. Welcome back to another episode of Vile Villain. I'm your villainous host, Deadward. Love that Irish dad. Cool happenings going on. Star Wars released a bunch of stuff through Hasbro, including this awesome Boba Fett helmet. $119 at Walmart. I think it's well worth it. It even fits my fat head. Viewfinder comes down, some LED lights, and this part even lights up in there. Really cool. Couldn't be happier with this. In other news, people are starting to get their WonderCon stuff in. I have not. Not from Funko anyway, but I did get a Flock Pichu. This was available at WonderCon by going to Funko's Virtual Con 2.0. You can order this bad boy, or I think I got this one through Hot Topic. Hot Topic had these, some other retailers had some of the other stuff, but uh, this was a Hot Topic one. Hot Topic shipping is a lot quicker, apparently, than Funko. Let's pop into this. Whoa, psychedelic, dude. If I didn't mention that before, this is the Flock Pichu. My box came with the shared sticker, it didn't come with the con sticker. But I do have another one coming with the con sticker. I hope with the con sticker. I have heard of some reports of people getting some things that don't have the con sticker, even though they got it from WonderCon or Funko Virtual Con 2.0. Nonetheless, it's nice to have the toy in my hand. This fuzzy little guy is so cute. I don't know jack shit about Pichu. I think he's an earlier, maybe like a baby Pikachu. Pretty sure that's what it is. Starting at the top, he has very large yellow ears with white along the edges, large yellow head, big pink sculpted cheeks, big black sculpted eyes, printed on tiny nose and mouth. He has a black collar, large yellow belly, small yellow arms, and a little yellow feet. If you flip him over, he has a crooked looking black tail. It's so tiny, but it's a really neat little flock pop. I gotta say, all the Pokemon Pops are really well done. They look spot on. Pichu from WonderCon. Now that I notice it, I think I screwed up. I think that Pichu was an FYE exclusive because the next one is the Hot Topic exclusive and also WonderCon, Funko Virtual Con 2.0, Flock Eevee. Eevee no Eevee. Eevee Eevee. Let's pop into it. Looks a little more techno than psychedelic. All right, I have reviewed Eevee before on this show. Pretty much the same thing, but flocked. But we'll go over it anyway. Starting from the top, he has very large fox-like ears, dog-like ears. I'm not sure, but they're pretty cool. Large and brown, darker brown on the inside. Some really good sculpting to represent the hair on the top of its head. Large brown head, large black eyes that are sculpted. Sculpted muzzle, sculpted mouth, and tiny printed nose. He has a large light beige shaggy mane around his neck. He's in a sitting position like he's waiting for a tree. Brown body, tiny brown feet, large puffy brown tail with a light beige tip. Pretty cool. His head moves. I didn't even check to see if Pichu's head moves. It probably does. The way this is glued in there, they could have really made the tail move, but they didn't. So that'd probably be my only gripe about this. I'm pretty sure the other one doesn't move either, the tail. But it's a cool pop. Small and fuzzy. Hot Topic exclusive, I think. And WonderCon. Funko Virtual Con 2.0. Now the creme de la creme. I mentioned that earlier this week, Star Wars released a bunch of stuff, including that awesome helmet. They also released a whole bunch of Black Series figures and some six inch scale carded figures, like the old school toys that I used to buy when I was a kid. Just awesome. I bought a Yoda of that. I already showed you Count Dooku. I think I got Zori Bliss. I got a Knight of Ren as well. Couldn't wait. I opened up the rest of them. But something came out just today. A whole bunch of somethings came out just today. Um, boy, I can't remember everything that came out. I know there was a Bobby Boucher from The Water Boy. I think some Wonder Woman stuff came out. All I cared about was Star Wars. But instead of going out, I slept in today. So my buddy Jose got me a future of Stormtrooper. Thank you, buddy. There's also a future of Jawa, a future of R2-D2. And the one thing I did go out and find just a little bit ago was this awesome 10-inch Boba Fett.
Lord Vader. You may take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me dead. Who doesn't like Boba Fett? Who doesn't like a really big ass Boba Fett? I was so happy to get this. I actually didn't realize this was coming out today. I knew the future stuff was coming out today, but uh, I found that out like a couple days ago that he's coming out and I'm like, oh crap. And then I didn't end up making it out this morning, but after looking online, I made a couple calls and found a Target that had one. Target exclusive, by the way. Let's pop into it. One thing I didn't mention, one reason why a lot of Star Wars stuff is coming out right now is because it's the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. And you can see that represented on the back of this. A couple of the pops I have released in the past show that as well. And all of those carded figures I was talking about a moment ago, those were also 40th anniversary figures. Luke Skywalker, Bespin, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Dagobah, R2-D2 I think is one, or maybe not. Maybe. Adat Driver and Dagobah Yoda, Snake. All right, you know if you love him, starting at the top, Boba Fett has a big green helmet, a viewfinder that moves up and down so he can look through it and target stuff and see heat signatures and such. I recently found out that these yellow stripes across his helmet were uh, his kills. So he's marking up his kills. Red band around his head that ends up in his visor and it moves down with that visor in the front. I don't know if that's actually a visor necessarily, but you know, the black part he looks through. Lots of battle damage, silver showing through everywhere on this pop. Big dent in his forehead. Little access port that looks like a beauty mall. Moving down, he has that awesome Mandalorian armor in green. More battle damage. Gray bodysuit underneath it, yellow shoulders, green gauntlets, gray and light gray gloves, black gun with a brown stock. On his back, he has a large green jetpack with a little battle damage and some silver accents, brown shoulder cape with a stripe of yellow, grayish blue pants, and big gray boots, and with yellow bands around his calves that have something, I don't know. Maybe it holds him. He's no good to be cold. And of course, being a Star Wars pop, he has to have that black Star Wars stand. Star Wars printed right on it. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Boba Fett Bobblehead from Funko. Just awesome stuff today. I wish I could have gotten the other things. I have one more thing and I'll be showing that to you in a future episode once I get it from Mosaic. Good chance I'll probably end up getting the other stuff. But I'm just waiting on my damn WonderCon stuff. Should have a big box coming soon. Maybe not even that big of a box, but a box. Good things come in box. So I hope you're surviving the alpacalypse. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You want to boost my ego? Subscribe. What do you think of these guys? Everybody loves a Boba Fett, and everybody loves Pokemon, so how can you go wrong? And of course, they're flops. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. If you want to help this channel, share it with your friends, share it with Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it however you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go. <laughs>